In one of the cases that you, the media, reported earlier this week, NOAA Office of Law Enforcement is already investigating. NOAA has nationwide capacity, and since the couple who admitted touching the seal had already left Hawaii for another state, OLE took the lead. Going forward, dole care officers have been instructed to investigate cases of wildlife harassment and to refer them to county prosecutors for prosecution. Our officers cover more than 700 miles of shoreline in addition to millions of acres of state land. We cannot be everywhere at every time. And as a result, we rely on witnesses who report when people are too close or are harassing our wildlife. Because of this, I strongly encourage people to download the free DLNR tip app on their smartphone. We know from activity of the past two weeks that many people are very concerned about those who are not following the law when they are around our wildlife, especially monk seals and turtles. Over the past two weeks, from our DLNR smartphone tip app, we have received 31 tips regarding monk seal harassment, mainly focused on the two cases that are known to the media, that involving the couple from Kauai and uh, the single male individual. We also had 10 tips come in regarding turtle harassment, mainly people who are either swimming, touching, or feeding turtles, and two tips regarding people pursuing spinner dolphins. Lastly, I just want to uh, remind the public that you can call the Doe Care Hotline at 643-DLNR or the NOAA Marine Wildlife Hotline at 888-256-9840 if you observe harassment of our protected species. Remember, it could take some time for the, authority to, for the authorities to arrive on scene. So if the harassment does not stop, please provide any video or photos to law enforcement when they arrive or please send it and report it via the TIP app. So the, the videos and photos that people send in are in fact very helpful. Many times the, the video and the photos have people's names attached to it, they have locations attached to it, and, and really it does help us establish the probable cause we need in order to charge someone. So yes, um, the photos and video are very important, um, because we do treat it as evidence. I absolutely do not believe it's a good idea for people to intervene um, when these things happen um, just because you don't know who you're dealing with. Um, really the proper thing is to be a good witness, report it to the proper authorities um, so that we can take the necessary action. We have the tools to be safe, the training to be safe. To the extent that it's safely possible to do so, photos of the individuals involved, video of the individuals involved, are all very helpful as evidence um, so that we can properly and positively identify the culprit as well as um, obtain evidence as far as what actions they took to harass the animal. Uh, well, the best thing to do is really our takeaway message today, and that's to view the marine wildlife respectfully and keeping a safe distance. So for sea turtles in particular, that's staying back at least 10 feet, uh, both on land and in the water. Uh, for monk seals, 50 feet. Uh, for dolphins and small whales, 50 yards. And for humpback whales, 100 yards. Uh, another way you can help too is to get the word out as well. So uh, if you're uh, posting photos or videos on social media, making sure that you are those safe distances away and educating people on these safe distances and how they can uh, responsibly view these, uh, uh, the wildlife.